guys tonight. I'm more than sure all of you are watching perhaps the best Democratic convention in the history of the Democratic Party. I'm more than sure tonight y'all are watching it, right? And and yes, Hillary Clinton brought down, she brought down a house. And yes, Crockett was everything I love about Crockett. Say it, say it with your chest, Crockett. But see, see this one commercial, this one commercial, guys. They this this Democratic Party is fighting these evil bastards the way you supposed to fight a bunch of evil ass white Christians. They're fighting the way you're supposed to fight evil. You got to call that shit what it is. You got to call a Nazi a Nazi. Oh my God, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. But see this commercial I'm about to play for you. And, and this was a segment that came on in, in the convention. I want you to listen to this commercial. And why I why I say this is you you you're watching the end of Donald Trump and everything like him. They may not get the White House back for another 25 years because of this shit right here. This is one of our willow boxes. This is the outfit that she was going to maybe wear home from the hospital. There's her little... <clears throat> the blanket that she was in. Trump. I'm telling you, fuck years, Trump. They were trying to get fuck him. Roe v. Wade terminated, fuck and I did you, it, boy. and I'm proud to have done it. I was punished for three days having to wait for either my baby to die or me to die or both. I was stuck in this horrific hell of both wanting to hear her heartbeat and also hoping I wouldn't. There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. I almost died because doctors were forced to follow Trump's abortion ban. Kamala will protect a woman's right to choose. We trust women to make decisions about their own body and we not have the government tell them what to we do. Get rid of this I have so ever. much faith in her. And when Congress passes a law to restore reproductive freedoms as president of the United States, I will sign it into law. We have to fight for Kamala Harris, our rights, our freedoms, and frankly, our lives. Everything is on the line. <clears throat> Everything is on the line. What is happening in this election is I didn't expect this to happen, guys. And it's emotional for me because I'm a political strategist. Many of you don't know this about me, but I have been I have been actively involved behind the scenes in campaigns all my life. I told y'all a story this morning about being a kid, getting paid nothing but a plate of, of red beans and smoked sausage by Dutch Moriel to campaign all my life. I was a political strategist for a state legislator, for honorary, for, for Copeland. I have been involved in politics all my life. And I lost 10 years of my life, guys. Next year, in, Jan in June of next year, will make 10 years. I have fought Donald Trump. And I have fought this evil with everything I had. I fought him. I fought his people, I threw away a source of income. YouTube was a source of income for me. I lost customers. I lost clients. I lost friends. I lost people that were dear to me behind Donald Trump. Don't you ever think that it's just a president. The shit that goes on in Washington, 
D.C. affects things in New Orleans instantly. It's not a delayed reaction. This shit is instant. But what happened in this election is something I didn't think was going to happen. Guys, I didn't think white sisters would come out for Harris the way they're coming out. That shows you how damaging Trump is. Trump got the white vote of white women last time because white women typically vote with their husbands. This is, I told you, white women haven't progressed that far beyond the movie to help. Not down here, maybe in some areas of the country, but down here in this raunchy ass shit called the South, this is still the movie to help. And if you haven't seen the movie to help, Take this opportunity to watch it and you will understand the anatomy, the mindset, the mentality of white women. Not all of them, but the majority of them. Except for now, except for now, all of that shit about the help and white women being in the analogy of the help was true until it wasn't. And that shit ended this year. Like we're watching a transformation, a revolution sparked in white women. It's not African-American women. They've been had their shit together ever since that show was on a different world. Black women have fucking dominated every category. Now we're watching white women who went to sleep after they received the right to vote. After they, after the miniskirt and panties and birth control, they really went to fuck to sleep. And we're seeing them wake up again. Yes, black men, we could tell you firsthand, these black sisters have been formidable. They, uh, they, they outpaced us in salary in 1995. We haven't been able to, to catch up with them. They, they left our ass in the dust. But it was white women that just dragged their feet, dragged their ass until they saw what complacency, until they saw what this submissiveness to toxic masculinity results into. Then they woke the fuck up. So what I didn't expect to happen this year was white women to finally wake the fuck up and get off their ass and join us on the front line fighting these fucking Nazis. Yes, I'm emotional. I'm blown away. So I'm about to go back and watch a, a, a convention that I couldn't draw this shit up better than this. I couldn't draw this shit up better than this. Thank you, Democrats. Fucking thank you. From someone who started out as a as a Democrat, then became a Republican, was the vice president of the PBS Pinchback Society of Black Republicans in Louisiana to step down from that shit after debating L. Sharpton in 1993 as a Demo as a Republican to switch to a Democratic Party to be a part of President Obama, then to step back and watch his party turn into the most racist shit I've ever seen in my life. To watch people that I once considered friends call President Obama a monkey. And I say, boy, you can't align yourself with that shit. Yeah, you wanted to keep your promise to, to Grandpa to stay in a Republican Party, but this ain't the same Republican Party. This is the fucking, di this is the Dixiecrats. The Dixiecrats done took over this shit. I'm so happy that I left the Republican Party to be a part of this amazing thing called Democrats and democracy. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck him. And I'm, I'm grateful that Harris will be the end of him because see, after this shit, we will not see him again. That's it. That's a, the Republicans are after they take this severe ass whipping with a an extension card butt ass naked in a bathtub we won't have to worry about them ever the fuck again it'll be 25 years before the republicans ever win again after fucking up 
as bad as they did with Trump and them bitches deserve it.